Hello everyone. If you were like me and you bought this 10.25 uh, inch display from Handshow or anything similar like this and it has CarPlay built into it and you have the problem with whenever whenever this thing connects it actually uh, takes over the Bluetooth as far as like what's what media is played through it. I've combed through the through the World Wide Web and search websites and couldn't really find a an answer until I, I randomly I found a website that actually had uh, it was actually Tesla Motor Club and someone on there actually stipulated something you could do with the uh, automation or the shortcuts within the iPhone. So I actually built a shortcut that whenever you connect when whenever this thing connects to CarPlay. You can have an automation or a shortcut built into your iPhone, or I mean, if you if you have Android, I, I apologize. I don't know what their version would be. This is primarily going to be for people with iPhones, but if you have automation and the shortcut app on your phone, then this this should work. At least this has been the most consistent thing that's worked for me since I've started using it. Um, and basically what the automation does is it actually, whenever your phone, whenever the uh, hand show display connects to CarPlay, it will actually activate an automation on your phone through the shortcuts app that actually, for me, I wanted it to be a uh, Sirius XM because I have a Sirius XM uh, 2023 Tesla Model 3 and it does not come with Sirius XM. I don't want to go through the hassle of installing all the additional wiring to, to install it in the car. So I'm just using the streaming service through the app. So what I was having a problem with is every time I tried to play Sirius XM through the CarPlay, it would default to uh, the, the screen's Bluetooth, which is actually called localhost, which has no audio coming through it. And it will not route to the, the Tesla Model 3 with, the, uh, with that localhost connected. Um, I saw that you could go into the settings of your of the Tesla and connect to something called the the Tesla. Uh, let me see if I can get it to pull up here. Forgive me if I look. Let me see. Go to Add New Device. Start Search. This thing right here. Your Tesla, at least the 2023 Model 3s. I can't speak for the Model Ys, Xs, thing else in their inventory, but. You can only have two Bluetooth things connected at one time. So, like, if you had a Bluetooth, like, I have a wireless controller here. Um, so, I could have a wireless controller, and I could have my phone connected with the phone key um, at the same time. But any of this other stuff, if I connect, if I connected to the Tesla screen, and then say I'm at a charging location, and I want to be able to use my wireless controller, either my cell phone or or this <coughs> or my CarPlay. Is going to have to stop. Which I mean, if I am playing a game or something on on the screen, I'm not going to need the uh, the audio from the CarPlay. So I, mean, I guess that's a workaround. But for me, this caused an incredible lag whenever I connected to it. And it, I mean, to me, I, I just did. I mean, I would push a button, and three seconds later, I would get a result. But that that is the other option that they give you through Handshow. And to me, I don't think it. I don't think it actually is very good. But I did find a workaround through the automation part of your iPhone. And I'm in the next part of this video, I'm going to mirror my phone so you can actually see what I did to build build this. And to me, it's been the most consistent. Every once in a while, um, the, the screen, the hand show screen will connect to Bluetooth before the Tesla will. And ever so often, I will actually have to go in here and manually, or not manually, I'll have to actually connect. Uh, go into the uh, the media that I'm playing, whether it be uh, uh, Apple Music or it be uh, even Sirius XM that I'm playing here, that uh, it, I would actually have to go in there and tell my phone to play it through Tesla. But honestly, that, I mean that that takes like maybe five seconds. So I mean, if you want, if you are interested in this, then please, um, if you're like me, you want to skip forward to the end just to see what the result is. But uh, if anything, I just I made this video just to help out others like me that were completely confused on how they could best uh, get this to work. Um, so please stay tuned, and the next part of the video will be me showing you how to do the automation. Okay, so for this next part, 
uh, you like doing everything within the uh, shortcut app on your phone. So you'll go into your shortcuts app, and if for some reason you don't have it, uh, then you can download it uh, free from the Apple App Store. Or if you've got a bunch of apps like I do, and um, for me, I've got them, I've got mine organized the way I do. But if your shortcuts app is buried on your phone somewhere, if you just swipe down somewhere on any of the screens and just start typing in short, you'll see the shortcut app pop up if you don't have it. Okay, now once it opens, it should default to the first tab at the very bottom left, which actually says shortcuts. As you can see here, I, I have a Sirius, Sirius XM account, and I have a station I listen to called Octane. So I already have a shortcut in here that actually says Play Octane, which will go along with the automation that you will that I'll show you how to do here momentarily. Now, I'm going to start from scratch. So um, I, I know another station that I listen to is a Sirius XM Turbo. So I can come over here to Safari, and I can type in... Just to save everyone the time, I went ahead and had a window open. So Sirius XM Turbo. And then I'll hit search. And then right there at the very very top, Sirius XM Turbo. And then you'll see right here in the middle of the screen, there's a big button, a big play button. If you just tap and hold that, you'll get a menu pop up and it says copy link. And then from here, you can go back over to the, all, the shortcuts app. And then on the uh, shortcuts tab, Hit the plus button, and then under Add Action, you can you can either do it that way, or you can come down to the search bar at the very bottom and just start type in URL. Uh, third down the list, you you'll see one that says Open URLs, and then where it says you see it says Open in the URL there at the top, you have to tap inside that blue air where, where it has the blue URL. Tap there, and it will allow you to paste in that link. And once you do that, you can hit Done. And then from here, you can actually rename this whatever you wish. So in my case, um, right at the very top of the screen, it says open URLs with a little arrow uh, pointing down. If you tap that, um, you can hit rename. So I'll rename this play turbo. And then I'll say done. And then done once more. And as you can see, play turbo is now a new shortcut on the main screen um now you can now if you forget to do that that renaming part within the shortcut itself as you're building it if you just tap and hold on the shortcut a little menu will pop open and you can hit rename all right now we're going to go over to the automation side on the automation side i'm going to open this up and show you kind of what it's going to be doing so i have this automation to run immediately when carplay connects okay i'm going to show you how to do that so when CarPlay connects, it says do, and then down below it says do these things, okay? And then if I open that that tab up, these are the things that I want it that I want my phone to run when whenever my phone connects to the hand shows uh, CarPlay mode, and that way it, it will route the audio um, or the, any media being played to the Tesla versus play, trying to play it through the screen which has no audio. So from here, I'll go back, cancel that. I'll hit the plus button, so we'll start a new one. And then down there, you'll see the second row of, uh, of options there. It says CarPlay. So if you tap that, and then it gives you two options, when CarPlay connects and when then CarPlay disconnects. So in this case, we're going to do when CarPlay connects, and we're going to select Run Immediately, and then Notify When Ruin. So you'll get a little notification on your phone stating that the shortcut has been, or the automation has been ran. And then we'll hit next and then here this is where we actually start putting in our uh, our different items that we want it to happen all right now once you hit next you'll get to this page here um, in order to see the the options that you need that i showed you before um, right down below get started you just hit new blank automation okay and this is where we'll get started now i'm you can search for everything i'm about to tell you but if you want to look for it manually you can just hit add action and you can search for everything i'm about to show you or you can just search by scrolling down the list. But the easiest way to do it is just to do the search. So down here at the very bottom, it has the search bar. We'll tap in there, and then we'll hit wait. Okay, first thing that pops up is wait. And then right next to that, you'll see where it has one second. If you tap one second, a little bit, the, the plus and minus will pop up. If you tap that, you can type in as many seconds as you want. For me, Five seconds has been the most consistent that I've seen this actually work. We uh, added the five seconds. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell it to play Octane. So in the search bar, you can type in short, 
And then first thing that pops up is shortcuts there. And then you'll see run shortcut. So I'm going to hit that. And then you'll see where it highlights shortcut in blue. If you tap there, it'll let you select the shortcut you want to use. So in this case, play Octane. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do is tell it to wait again. So go to the search bar, type in wait, and then put in five seconds again. You can tap out of the box and it'll remove that. And then the last thing is the change playback destination. You have to be connected to your Tesla's Bluetooth in order for this to happen. So if you're sitting in your house trying to do it, build this automation, it's not going to work. You need to be sitting in your car in order for this to actually pull up. And you also have to be connected to the hand show at the same time. Um, in this case, we're going to go to scripting. And then if you scroll down the page under device, you'll see where it says change playback destination. Now here it highlights set. Now if you tap set, it gives you some other options here. Okay, set is what you need to leave it at. But if you want to, if you are experimenting with other automations that you think may work better, then please uh, reply in the comment section and I'd love to know. But in, in my case, I put set, playback destination, and then it says two. If you tap where it says iPhone, these are my available options for selecting where I want the media to be played. So localhost is actually the hand show device. Whenever your media is play, or, or it, whenever your, the media attempts to play through the hand show screen, it shows up as localhost. If you want it to play through the Tesla, you have to hit Tesla, okay? Tesla Model 3 in my case. And then the last thing you, you'll do is uh, is just hit Doing, and that is all there is to it. Now, I've got two of them in here. I'm going to delete the one I just showed you how to build because I already have it built already. Whenever I get in the car and my phone connects to the Bluetooth on my Tesla, and then once the hand show device connects to my phone through CarPlay, it automatically runs this automation. You have to make sure you followed that step about running it immediately. Um, and then once it ruins, all you have to do is, is if you are using Sirius XM, you know, you can go ahead and, and, and use that. So this, this option can also be used to play media through uh, your, your Apple Music on your phone. So like if you had a specific playlist that you like to listen to on your way to work or to and from work or on the way to the gym or wherever you're going, then all you have to do is go back to the shortcuts tab on the bottom left. And at the very top, on the top right, you'll see the plus button. So if you hit the plus button, um, and, and then the, the new add action will pop open. And so you have the third option down below that says play music. Well, I, I, that, that shows up for me because I've used it before. But if for some reason that suggested the play music action does not show up for you, just go to the search bar at the bottom of the screen, just tap, type in play. And then scroll down until you find play music and tap that. And then you'll see music highlighted in blue. We'll select that. And then next thing you'll hit library playlist at the very top. And then I have four different ones in here. I'm just going to select the one for workout mix. And then you can add individual songs from that playlist. And that's the only ones that would play through this shortcut. Or if you wanted to shuffle every song on this playlist and just play every single one of them. Then at the top of the screen, right below or right next to the cancel button, you'll have an, a plus button. If you hit that plus button, that will actually add the entire workout mix. Next thing you do is the arrow next to, to the right of workout mix. If you tap that arrow, it'll give you options for shuffle and repeat. If you if you do the repeat, it'll just start on the first song, go all the way through, and then recycle back to the beginning. For me, I like to keep it interesting, so I usually just shuffle it every time I open it. So I'll, I'll, I'll tap Shuffle Songs, and then I'll hit Done, and then I could add that to my automation as well. That way, every time I get in my car and the hand show device connects to my phone uh, for CarPlay, it'll automatically start uh, shuffling my workout mix through, through, through the Tesla. So I hope this helped you in my in your frustrations because um, it definitely frustrated me whenever I attempted to play stuff through the hand show device and I couldn't figure out why it kept playing through the the local host and, and how it was playing through the hand show and having to manually select it to play through my Tesla. It was very frustrating for me, but um, I hope this helps you in some way. Please like, comment, subscribe if you if you like to see future videos. And I very much thank you for your time.